Port Charles faces a Thanksgiving full of revelations and challenges. The holiday season has arrived in Port Charles, but for some residents, gratitude is overshadowed by lingering grief and unsettling discoveries. Thanksgiving may not be a time of joy for Sam McCall's loved ones, who are still grappling with her untimely death. As Alexis Davis processes the shocking details of Sam's last will, new questions arise. The will grants custody of her children to Drew Kane Cordemain, a decision Alexis believes Sam made before Jason Morgan's miraculous return. This revelation could set the stage for another legal showdown, one bound to be filled with twists. Meanwhile, Sam's autopsy results are likely to spark even more emotional turmoil, casting a somber shadow over Thanksgiving celebrations. Lulu Spencer's awakening a long-awaited moment brings painful memories. After four years in a coma, Lulu Spencer's return to consciousness is a bittersweet victory. Waking up should have been a moment of relief and joy, but Lulu's initial memories have proven to be anything but comforting. Her journey to recovery will likely involve revisiting difficult chapters from her past, potentially altering relationships with her loved ones. What role will Lulu play in the ever-shifting dynamics of Port Charles? Fans eagerly anticipate how this development will intersect with ongoing storylines and whether Lulu can reclaim her place in a world that has moved on without her. Christina and Molly unite around Alexis amid emotional turmoil. The Davis family is no stranger to chaos, but Alexis can count on the unwavering support of her daughters, Christina Corinthos Davis and Molly Lansing Davis. As new revelations and challenges emerge, Christina and Molly rally around their mother, showing the strength of their bond. However, not all is well between the sisters. Molly's recent bombshell has sent shockwaves through the family, leaving Christina outraged. The sisters must navigate their differences while facing external pressures, potentially redefining their relationship in the process. Can their familial love withstand the storms brewing on the horizon? Molly Lansing Davis finds herself torn between TJ and new connections. Reconnecting with TJ Ashford is high on Molly's priority list, but the path to repairing their fractured marriage seems riddled with obstacles. Molly's growing connections with Dex Heller and Isaiah Gannon add complexity to her situation, creating tension and raising questions about her true feelings. TJ's determination to mend their bond is admirable, but will his efforts be enough to overcome the emotional distance that has grown between them? Fans are left wondering if Molly's heart is still fully committed to TJ or if her recent interactions signal a deeper shift in her priorities. Courtroom drama looms for Ava Jerome and Rick Lansing. The legal drama in Port Charles heats up as Ava Jerome braces herself for a courtroom showdown. Her anxiety over the trial is palpable, but Rick Lansing appears unfazed, using his reputation for underhanded tactics to his advantage. Rick's recent behavior, particularly his apparent willingness to exploit Molly Lansing Davis as a witness, has stirred outrage among the Corinthos Davis family. Adding fuel to the fire, Ava's flirtatious interactions with Rick have not gone unnoticed. Should Rick succeed in exonerating Ava, fans speculate their alliance might extend beyond the courtroom and into more scandalous territory. Could this duo become Port Charles's next controversial power couple? Explosive secrets and family betrayals shake the Corinthos Davis clan. Molly Lansing Davis' revelation has sparked a fierce reaction from Christina Corinthos Davis, and tensions are running high. While the exact nature of the secret remains under wraps, speculation points to Rick's decision to involve Molly in his legal maneuvers. Christina's anger and frustration threaten to deepen the rift between the sisters, setting the stage for heated confrontations. Meanwhile, the family's ongoing struggles highlight the complexities of loyalty, trust, and betrayal. Will the Corinthos Davis clan find a way to heal, or will these explosive events create lasting divisions? Viewers brace for chaos and bombshells in Port Charles. From courtroom battles to personal heartbreaks, the coming weeks promise no shortage of drama in Port Charles. Fans are eager to see how the intricate storylines involving Ava, Rick, Christina, Molly, TJ, and Alexis unfold. Will Ava and Rick's courtroom antics lead to unexpected consequences? Can Molly and TJ find their way back to each other, or will new connections pull them apart? And how will Lulu's awakening impact her loved ones as she faces the painful process of reclaiming her life? Each storyline is ripe with potential, leaving viewers speculating on the twists and turns that lie ahead. Which storyline will captivate you the most? The tangled web of relationships and secrets in Port Charles keeps fans hooked week after week. 
From the fallout of Sam's will to Lulu's emotional awakening, every plot promises high stakes and gripping developments. Share your thoughts, which storyline are you most excited to see unfold? Will Alexa's strength carry her through, or will Ava's courtroom drama steal the spotlight? Poor Charles is a town where nothing stays buried for long, and the coming months are sure to deliver surprises that no one saw coming. Explosive secrets threaten to shatter relationships in Port Charles. Secrets have a way of surfacing in Port Charles, often at the most inconvenient times. Brooklyn Cordemain's past is a ticking time bomb, threatening not only her relationship with Harrison Chase but also her fragile alliances with others. Brooklyn has kept a monumental secret. She once gave up a child, and the father might just be someone closer to Chase than he could ever imagine, Dante Falconeri. If this truth comes to light, the fallout could be catastrophic. Imagine Chase discovering that his wife and his work partner share a hidden history that resulted in a child. How could Chase reconcile his trust in Dante, not only as a colleague but as a friend, with this revelation? Meanwhile, Lulu Falconeri would be blindsided, forced to grapple with the idea that Dante might have lied to her all those years ago about his involvement with Brooklyn. This tangled web of deceit has the potential to destroy marriages, friendships, and trust in one fell swoop. Dante Falconeri's past could threaten his future with Lulu. As the rumors surrounding Dante and Brooklyn's past resurface, they raise questions about whether the two might have shared more than just a fleeting encounter. While it was previously believed that Brooklyn's infamous staged hookup with Dante was nothing more than a ploy orchestrated by Carly Spencer, the possibility of a hidden child changes everything. If the rumors are true, this revelation could not only disrupt Dante's attempts to reconcile with Lulu but also reignite an old spark between him and Brooklyn. The timing couldn't be worse. Lulu is still recovering from her long coma, trying to re-establish her life and relationships, including her connection with Dante. The discovery of a child kept secret from her all these years might be too much for her to bear, potentially pushing her into the arms of someone else. Meanwhile, Brooklyn's silence about the child suggests that she has motives yet to be uncovered. Is she trying to protect herself, her child, or someone else? A complicated love triangle, Dante, Lulu, and Brooklyn. Dante Falconeri finds himself in an emotional quagmire, torn between his history with Lulu and the unresolved issues with Brooklyn. While Dante's love for Lulu remains, his feelings are complicated by grief and guilt over Sam McCall's recent death. Sam had been his rock, a beacon of hope after Lulu's coma left him devastated. Now, faced with the possibility of rekindling a romance with Lulu, Dante's emotions are anything but simple. But will his unresolved grief over Sam cloud his judgment? Every time he visits the hospital, he's haunted by memories of Sam's death and the liver transplant that saved Lulu's life. Could Dante irrationally blame Lulu for surviving at Sam's expense? The psychological weight of these thoughts might make it impossible for him to rebuild a life with Lulu, leaving the door open for new, or perhaps old, romantic entanglements. Dante's struggle with grief and the shadow of Sam McCall. Dante's grief over Sam's death is more than just a subplot, it is a defining force in his life right now. Sam's unwavering support had helped Dante and his son, Rocco, heal after Lulu fell into her coma. She had become an integral part of their family filling a void that seemed impossible to fill. Her loss has left Dante floundering, unsure of how to move forward. As much as Lulu might hope to step back into her old role in Dante's life, it won't be that easy. The shadow of Sam looms large, and Dante struggles with feelings of guilt and blame. How can he look at Lulu without thinking of the liver transplant that saved her life at Sam's expense? This internal conflict could lead to a breaking point, where Dante might push Lulu away despite still loving her. His pain and confusion could also make him vulnerable to revisiting his connection with Brooklyn. Lulu's Long Road to Recovery Lulu Falconeri's return from her coma has been anything but smooth. Awakening after four years of unconsciousness, she faces a world that has moved on without her. Her relationships have changed, her family dynamics have shifted, and the man she loved has experienced profound loss and change. For Lulu, reclaiming her place in Dante's life might feel like an insurmountable challenge. Her recovery isn't just physical, it's deeply emotional. Waking up to a reality where Dante might not fully embrace her could leave Lulu questioning her place in his life. Moreover, the specter of Brooklyn's past with Dante looms over her, 
threatening to derail her attempts to rebuild what they once had. Will Lulu find the strength to fight for her family, or will the revelations and lingering grief prove too overwhelming? History repeats itself, Carly's role in the chaos. Years ago, Carly Spencer orchestrated a scheme to break up Dante and Lulu by using Brooklyn as a pawn. Though it seemed like a minor blip at the time, the implications of that scheme could have far-reaching consequences now. Brooklyn's decision to follow Carly's orders led to the staged affair that left Lulu heartbroken and questioning her relationship with Dante. But what if there's more to that story? The possibility of a secret child adds a new layer of intrigue. Did Brooklyn and Dante really cross a line all those years ago? And if they did, could this revelation reignite old animosities or unresolved feelings? Carly's meddling may have set events in motion that are only now beginning to unravel, with devastating effects for everyone involved. Can love and forgiveness prevail? As the threads of past secrets, current grief, and unresolved emotions weave together, the residents of Port Charles face challenges that will test the limits of their relationships. Will Dante and Lulu find a way to rebuild their love, or will Brooklyn's secrets and Dante's grief prove insurmountable? Can Chase forgive Brooklyn for her lies, or will the revelation of her past destroy their marriage? With so many lives intertwined and so many emotions at stake, the coming weeks promise to be a roller coaster of drama, heartbreak, and unexpected twists. Port Charles has always been a place where the past refuses to stay buried, and the future remains uncertain. Which storyline will captivate you most as the secrets unravel? A star among legends, Tristan Rogers joins iconic names on the Palm Springs Walk of Stars. Tristan Rogers has officially etched his name alongside some of the most celebrated icons in history, earning a well-deserved star on the Palm Springs Walk of Stars. This prestigious honor places Rogers in the illustrious company of legends like Frank Sinatra, Marilyn Monroe, Sophia Loren, and Elvis Presley. The recognition comes as a testament not only to his impressive career in entertainment but also to his deep ties to the Palm Springs community. The Palm Springs Chamber of Commerce emphasized that each honoree must meet rigorous criteria to receive this distinction. As they explained, recipients in the field of entertainment are required to have international acclaim, substantial accolades from peers, and significant contributions to their industry. Tristan Rogers, with decades of unforgettable performances across television and film, perfectly embodies these standards. A heartfelt celebration of a beloved star. The event commemorating Rogers' achievement was nothing short of remarkable. Taking place at the Chic 849 restaurant and lounge on November 18, it brought together a host of notable figures to honor the actor's enduring legacy. Palm Springs Mayor Jeffrey Bernstein and Chamber of Commerce CEO Nona Watson were present to officiate the ceremony, while fans, friends, and family gathered to celebrate. Rogers was accompanied by his wife, Teresa, and his children, Kale and Sarah, who stood proudly by his side as he accepted the accolade. Noted soap opera actress Judith Chapman, remembered for her role as Ginny Blake Weber on General Hospital, also attended the event, adding a nostalgic touch to the celebration. Rogers, visibly moved by the occasion, shared heartfelt words about what this recognition meant to him. This honor on the Palm Springs Walk of Stars is truly special to me, he said. It represents not only my journey in entertainment but also my strong connection to this remarkable community. Palm Springs has been my adopted home for many years, and this moment is deeply meaningful. The community's outpouring of love for a legend. The Palm Springs Walk of Stars organization captured the essence of the day on Instagram, sharing, we had the honor of celebrating the legendary, Tristan Rogers, today, dedicating the 471st star on the Palm Springs Walk of Stars to him for his longtime dedication to not only entertainment, but our community. Congratulations, again, Tristan. You are immensely valued, loved, and cherished, and today was a testament to that. The event highlighted how Rogers' impact extends far beyond the screen. In addition to his decades-long acting career, he has become a beloved member of the Palm Springs community. His contribution to both entertainment and the city has solidified his place not only as a global icon but as a local hero as well. An actor whose career spans decades and continents. Tristan Rogers' storied career began in his home country of Australia, where he first rose to prominence in soap operas like Belbert and No. 96. However, it was his 1980 debut as Robert Scorpio on General Hospital that catapulted him to international fame. 
Scorpio, a dashing secret agent, quickly became a fan favorite, earning Rogers a permanent place in soap opera history. Despite being killed off in 1992, the character's popularity brought Rogers back as a spirit in 1995 and, later, alive and well throughout the 2000s. While Rogers' last appearance on General Hospital was in November 2024, his influence on the genre remains indelible. During the 2010s, he also played Colin Atkinson on The Young and the Restless, showcasing his versatility and talent across different soap universes. Outside the soap world, Rogers' voice work as Jake in Disney's The Rescuers Down Under added another dimension to his career, introducing his talent to a new generation of fans. The Legacy of a Soap Opera Icon Rogers' connection to soap operas is unmatched, with his portrayal of Robert Scorpio setting a high standard for daytime television heroes. Scorpio's mix of charm, intelligence, and vulnerability made him a character that fans could root for and relate to. Over the years, the actor's return to General Hospital was met with widespread excitement, as viewers eagerly welcomed him back to Port Charles time and again. His work on The Young and the Restless further solidified his reputation as a versatile performer capable of bringing depth and charisma to any role. Whether as the suave Colin Atkinson or the heroic Robert Scorpio, Rogers has consistently delivered performances that resonate with audiences. His career is a testament to the enduring power of storytelling in soap operas and their ability to captivate viewers across generations. And honor decades in the making. Receiving a star on the Palm Springs Walk of Stars is not just a celebration of Tristan Rogers' career, it is a recognition of his profound impact on entertainment and the lives of his fans. The dedication ceremony underscored the breadth of his contributions, both on screen and off. From his groundbreaking work in Australian soaps to his iconic roles in American daytime television, Rogers has built a legacy that few can rival. As he joins the ranks of Hollywood's most celebrated figures, Rogers stands as a reminder of the artistry and dedication required to succeed in the entertainment industry. His journey from Melbourne to Palm Springs, from soap operas to voice acting, reflects a career defined by passion, resilience, and an unwavering connection to his audience. A bright future ahead. While Tristan Rogers has already accomplished so much, his story is far from over. With his deep ties to Palm Springs and his enduring legacy in the soap opera world, Rogers continues to inspire fans and peers alike. As he basks in the glow of this recent honor, one can't help but wonder what new chapters he may yet add to his incredible career. Whether through future roles, community contributions, or mentoring the next generation of actors, Rogers' influence shows no signs of waning. As fans reflect on his journey, this moment on the Walk of Stars is not just a celebration of his past, it's a promise of the greatness still to come. The trial of Ava Jerome looms large over Port Charles, but its potential impact on the Davis family may be even more explosive than the courtroom drama itself. At the heart of the turmoil is Molly Lansing Davis, who finds herself reluctantly entangled in the defense's case. Her decision, or obligation, to testify on Ava's behalf has placed her in an unenviable position, one that threatens to ignite a firestorm within her already fragile family. Christina Corinthos Davis, still consumed by grief and anger, has her sights set on vengeance. She firmly believes that Ava's conviction will be the key to her emotional healing. But what happens if Molly, unintentionally or not, says something in court that shifts the scales of justice in Ava's favor? The answer may lead to irreparable damage between the Davis sisters, leaving their bond fractured and their family reeling. A foreshadowing of family chaos. The recent conversation between Alexis Davis and Molly Lansing Davis about Ava's trial served as an ominous prelude to what lies ahead. As Alexis combed through Sam McCall's belongings in search of her will, her concern over Molly's role in the trial was palpable. She warned her daughter about the risks of testifying for the defense, clearly sensing the storm on the horizon. This moment of maternal intuition may well be a harbinger of the chaos to come. Christina's thirst for justice has transformed into a personal crusade, one driven by the belief that Ava's conviction is the only way to right the wrongs she feels. But Ava's fate in the courtroom won't be the true resolution Christina seeks, and Alexis knows it. If the trial ends in an acquittal, the family's tenuous peace may shatter completely. Christina's quest for revenge clouds her judgment. Grief often manifests in unpredictable ways, and for Christina, it has fueled an unrelenting desire for retribution. In her eyes, Ava represents the source of her pain, and seeing her behind bars has become an obsession. 
Yet this fixation blinds Christina to the reality of her situation, that revenge won't heal her wounds or bring her peace. What happens if Ava is acquitted? Will Christina turn her anger inward, targeting her sister Molly for playing a perceived role in Ava's freedom? This trial could become the catalyst for a destructive spiral, one that pits sister against sister and threatens to unravel the fragile unity they've only just begun to rebuild. A silver lining amidst the tragedy. Despite the shadows cast by Ava's trial and Sam McCall's tragic passing, the Davis sisters have found some solace in their shared grief. Christina and Molly, long at odds over various conflicts, have managed to forge a renewed bond. Their shared focus on supporting their mother, Alexis, through her mourning process has helped mend some of the emotional rifts between them. The recent thaw in their relationship has been a rare bright spot in an otherwise bleak period. Together, they've worked to move past their earlier clashes, including the painful fallout surrounding baby Irene. However, this newfound harmony is precarious at best. If Ava's trial ends in a way that Christina finds unacceptable, the fragile peace between her and Molly could be obliterated in an instant. The high stakes of testifying. Molly Lansing Davis faces a no-win situation. Her decision to testify for the defense in Ava Jerome's trial isn't born of malice or intention to hurt her sister, but the consequences of her testimony could be catastrophic. The tension within the Davis family underscores the impossibility of her position if her words help Ava avoid a guilty verdict, she risks Christina's wrath. Alexis, ever the protector of her children, tried to caution Molly about the dangers of her involvement. Yet Molly, overwhelmed by the sheer weight of the trial and her own personal grief, hasn't fully grasped the potential fallout. A family war seems inevitable, with Molly caught in the crossfire. The fallout of Ava's verdict. As the trial reaches its climax, the outcome promises to send shockwaves through the Davis family, no matter the verdict. If Ava is acquitted, Christina's anger may spill over onto Molly, leading to accusations, betrayal, and possibly estrangement. On the other hand, even a guilty verdict may not provide the closure Christina so desperately seeks, leaving her to grapple with unresolved pain. The trial is more than just a legal battle for Ava, it's a mirror reflecting the fractures within the Davis family. The sisters' relationships, their ability to trust each other, and their collective strength will all be put to the test. Will they emerge stronger, or will the trial mark the beginning of an even deeper divide? The emotional toll on Alexis Davis. Amidst the turmoil between her daughters, Alexis Davis remains the steady, albeit weary, matriarch of the family. Her grief over Sam's death is compounded by the tension between Christina and Molly, leaving her struggling to keep the family united. Alexis' fears about the trial's potential impact on her daughters underscore the precariousness of their situation. For Alexis, the trial isn't just about justice for Ava, it's about protecting her family from further heartbreak. But even her best efforts may not be enough to shield her daughters from the emotional fallout. As the trial unfolds, Alexis' role as a mediator will be tested like never before. The bigger picture, can the Davis family heal? The Davis family has faced its share of challenges, but Ava's trial may be one of the most divisive events they've ever encountered. The combination of grief, anger, and conflicting loyalties threatens to unravel the progress they've made in repairing their bonds. Yet, amidst the turmoil, there's a glimmer of hope. If Christina and Molly can find a way to reconcile their differences and support each other, they might emerge from this stronger than before. Their shared love for their mother and the memory of their sister Sam could serve as a foundation for healing. However, the path to that healing will be anything but straightforward. Only time will tell whether the Davis family can withstand the pressures of Ava's trial or if it will leave lasting scars on their relationships.